Oh, uh oh, the German Civil War. Ah, I gotta prevent it. Okay, how should we do this? <laughs> Dude, everything's crumbling around us. <laughs> Deconstruction. Wait, destruction of self. Oh shit, bro. It's the only choice. No nuke ourselves. Alright, welcome to another video. Today, in this, uh, I don't know, fucking video. <laughs> we are playing the. <laughs> I can fucking talk, dude. We're gonna be playing a thousand a week Reich, dude. I don't know, I've never played this mod, so we're about to see how it is. Okay, so it starts in the 1st of January, 1952. Hitler's thousand year Reich under Nazi party stands victorious in Europe. Its empire spanning from the Calais to the Arch oh, okay. <laughs> Archangelisk or whatever, dude. I can, I'm pretty sure I said that right, but as the British Empire crumbles, the torch of democracy is passed to the rapidly growing industrial powerhouse in the United States. In the east, the Kuomintang consolidates control over China, while remnants of the Russian army regroups across the Urals and Siberia. The war ended only five years ago, but with an unexpectedly fragile new world order, seeing signs of collapse, nobody can know for, for, can know how long the perverse peace will hold. Okay. Yeah, we got a few interesting countries here. We got, you know, Mr. Hitler here, dude. He's pretty old and shit, dude. What's this? They got, uh, ooh, uh, recruitment system, economic stagnation. Holy shit. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Negative 70% construction speed. Wow, that is quite a bit. Overgrown officer corps. Holy shit. The unthinkable. Oh, shit, bro. Oh, the fate of Germany and shit, dude. What else we got here? We got the Mussolini. Let's see. Uh, lions led by donkeys. Oh, shit, bro. And, uh, oh. <laughs> Okay, uh, yes, everyone's got fucking shitty economy, dude, but at least his is not, I mean, his construction speed's not as bad as Germany's, so. though. Apparently everyone has debuffs here, except the United States. Okay, wow, that's, cra that's crazy, but anyway, in order to make this more interesting, dude, I think we'll just choose Germany, you know? That seems like the most interesting option, you know, and shit like that, dude, because I feel like America or Britain or fucking China would be pretty boring, so... Yeah, we'll do that, I mean, you know, you know, oh, why does it look like he's taking a nice poop, though? <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> oh dang, look at the map here though, dude. Okay, so we pushed, so Germany, where's the Ural Mountains? Okay, so we didn't push all the way up to the Ural Mountains, but we almost got there. That's, I guess that counts. That looks like we pushed up and took over, you know, Moscow and shit, and they got, I don't know what side these guys are on. But we took over the Caucasus, and then, you know, the Soviets are just left with Siberia, you know, the fucking... The, a fucking winter wasteland or whatever, dude. Hey, Finland's looking pretty thick, though. Hey. <laughs> but anyway, what else do we got here? Yeah, okay, so nothing too interesting. Just, you know, Germany won, Japan lost, uh, and shit like that, dude. But I guess we'll just play as Germany to see how it, is. See how it is. I assume it's gonna be pretty interesting, but yeah, we'll just do regular and Iron Man mode as a starter. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Holy shit, that is quite a large, uh, history here. Swabian Knights. When Bismarck united German peoples under one empire, most dreamt of a grand state that could only surpass Napoleon. However, only one man dared put his dream to action. The Fuhrer. Who? <laughs> After a swift victory on the Western Front, all eyes turned on the Red Menace in the East. Yes. Where the Germany, where the Germany's fury, what? Where, what, 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 what is this? Dude, someone didn't proofread. <laughs> Where the Germany's fury, where Germany's fury fell upon the Bolsheviks in full force, Kiev, Minsk, Sevastopol crumbled under the German might. Meanwhile, the Soviets found themselves isolated, staying alone as the world turned their back on them. Soon, Leningrad fell after a combined assault by the Luftwaffe, Kriegsmarine, and Wehrmacht. As an all-out assault threatened Moscow, Stalin threatened Moscow, Stalin was forced to relocate his troops away from the Stalingrad, opening the door for German intrusion into the Cau Caucasus oil fields. Stalingrad too fell after encircling Blood City dry, and finally, after millions of deaths on both sides, the German flag flew above Red Square. However, this victory is never official, as the Reds have chosen to relocate the perm, while Stalin going missing during chaos in Moscow. Ooh, 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 we can, we can, ooh, ooh, we can either end this right now or read more. Let's read more. Holy shit! After that. <coughs> <laughs> After the end of uh, major operations to the East, Germany enjoyed a period of stability and economic boom. However, this period was jeopardized in 1948. Hitler fell into a coma after suffering a stroke. Oh shit. A prominent general, 
Henning von Treskow used his opportunity to seize power. Oh shit, bro. Declaring that Hitler is dead. Uh, oh, Treskow proclaimed himself the Prime Minister of Germany. Oh shit, bro. But uh, for the new American cabinet, Loyalist Waffen SS and, and military elements refused to recognize von Treskow. Er Eric von Manstein, foreign general, a league of neutral regions and military formations, which included the Reich's commissariat. Just as all hell was about to break loose, if he recovered from his coma, losing all legitimacy, Henning von Treskow was arrested, executed. Oh shit, bro. While his crest only lasted for a hundred days, its impacts were severe, ending the German economic movement, pushing Germany into stagnation. Von Treskow will, shall be remembered like the. Okay, I'm not gonna say that one, and the Bolsheviks. <laughs> Don't want to get this, uh, no, uh, yeah, you know, uh, right. pretty interesting though, hmm. But the question is, you know, what the fuck is gonna happen, you know? <laughs> I bet you it's gonna be a huge ass civil war and then the Soviets are gonna be like, Oora! across the fucking <laughs> area over here, dude. But I mean, we did pretty good, it seems. We won World War II for the most part, uh, excluding our loss of life and shit bro but eh, it looks like we reached our anglist fucking stalingrad land stalin <laughs> line here but anyway before we get i don't, I don't want to talk too much here but okay let's see what the focus tree is like okay it's you know pretty big pretty big internal policies rivalries the failing economy i, uh, I should probably do that first complete hitler's plan oh shit oh wow but it's all holy shit, they all have fucking large ass paragraphs, so okay. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we'll just do the status of the right. As we enter into a new year, we face the same problems, not so subtle factionism within the party and an economy in free fall and sluggish armed forces. All in all, 1952 proved to be the worst year for the Reich in recent memory. Moving forward, it is clear that we must tackle these issues head on as they are slowly killing our nation and threatening to undo all the progress we have fought so hard to achieve. We shall do whatever it takes. Cordy, the upper thrust of the party, regrettably many need to the demands of those cursed industrial cartels while executing careful political maneuvering within the Reich's egg. We, we, wait, what? We sheed? What, what is, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this? What, we've sheed. What 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 is sheed? Uh, okay, we, I guess we sh I guess that's supposed to be shy, but we've shied away from being willing to get our hands dirty for a long time, and now we are faced with no other option. Yes, the great the get the great greater future. What about technology, I'm very curious to see. Oh shit, bro, we got you know the fucking STG STG 33. Ooh dang, ooh dang, how far can we go? Oh, we sure we can go all the way to 1988, dude. Damn, we got some RPGs and shit, bro. Cool, pretty cool, but about uh, pretty standard. How about my tanks here? Okay, we got, so we got some pretty like you know modern German tanks. Later on in the future and shit, artillery. Uh, oh, these are this is pretty cool actually. Uh, uh, land auctions. Okay, so no mass assault. Uh, got helicopters. Oh shit, we got some planes and shit, bro. Oh, they got the Horton Ho too. Hey, that's a pretty nice looking aircraft right there. You know, fucking jet fighters, but I don't know, I don't see that much other than that, dude. We got, oh shit, chemical warfare. Ooh, pretty neat, but I guess we'll just do, you know, the standard construction one. Uh, post war line production, and, you know, we're just gonna do the standard crap. I don't know, I'm not gonna fucking go into major detail on all this. Oh dang, what's this? Hidden sympathies. Mm. So they're more likely to maybe switch sides or something. Mm. A scheme in Hungary! Oh, what's this? Over the years, the Kingdom of Hungary has become increasingly paranoid German presence and issues of fears. As a countermeasure, the Volksbund of France, Anton Basque, has designed a cunning plan with a Schutzhafel's approval. The upcoming German rally in Hungary shall turn to a radical march with a Schutzhafel funding, demonstrating the consequences of defying German interests. Hopefully, this plan would be a firm warning to Horthy regime. So, oh, oh, oh shit! Oh yes, of course, a gentle nudge to Horthy. Mm. <laughs> oh dang, dude! This uh, Reich's commissary at Moscow, dude. Oh shit! Keep him alive to work, work him to death. Our plan full of cleanse lazy. Oh shit, bro! Damn, bro. <laughs> Quite crazy over there. We got quotas, production demands. Mm -hmm. House the former government. What is this? Slavic solution. Oh shit, bro. Oh shit. The coup is brought harm to the right, and one must see in the surface it costs right men in prestige. And uh, even if 1952, there are no signs of 
Covering the future of no major actions are taken, right as soon to fail. It appears the power of the world is keeping Kosan us waiting for us to tear us apart. Die, it's 1,000 years. Okay. Polish terrorist attack. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> a group of unknown post terrorists. Uh, 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 Polish uh, used to terrorist group like, oh shit, bro. Uh, terrorist uses bombs, bombs and shit, bro. No, it's a home army. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> of course. Them darn terrorists. Let's try to fix this failing economy, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is quite a large paragraph here. Blah blah blah. Yes, you must fix it. Okay, that's what it's, well, that's what it basically basically says. <laughs> it says <laughs> Southern Poland operation. What's this? Reserve Police Battalion 101 is major operation. It's still starting in Southern Poland. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> oh, what's this? Jerry's economy has suffered greatly recently. We have no choice but to pay close attention to problems that begin with necessary reforms. This will be a difficult task, but our leader will get us through it. Reform is the only answer that can pull Germany from a brink of total economic favor. Yes, okay, economy, the economy first. The politics of the German Reich. The political association in German Reich tries more volatile by the day. Death slowly creeps towards the great leader, haunts him as a specter. Oh, shit, bro. Meanwhile, factions form within the SDP, rivalries between high ranking officers threatening to boil. All of them are scheming uh, from scheming into violent. Thankfully, Hitler is still alive. Yes, okay. We united, but uh, let us accomplish our goals while well, we can. Dude, we gotta do it while he's still alive. The oh, fuck? Why'd you hire this guy, dude? <laughs> he's so crappy, but he gives us some nice political power. But ooh, boy, oh shit, Spears meeting. What the fuck? During a typical afternoon, Albert Spear paid a visit to the Burghoff for a private meeting with Hitler. Okay, without President Martin Bormann, while the chatter between Spear and Hitler's government was mostly revolved around architecture, he raised concerns about the economy. Oh, okay, and then they made the comment that the German economy is just a total wreck, and Spear didn't realize what he just said. Indeed, Spear, the economy's in shambles. Perhaps he's freaking, starting to forget his place. <laughs> Let's take him all back and beat him up or whatever, dude. But nah, we, we gotta keep things stable, dude. We gotta survive, bro. Because I know for a fact that if this shit goes into like a civil war, there might be a chance I might lose this, and that's not going to be good, dude. <laughs> Alright, so yes, okay, yes, okay, base stability, yes, indeed. Death of Simeon, okay, don't see, no, yes, goodbye. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see, reserve police battalion, oh, good work. Have a nice pat in the back, holy shit, you lost 5,000 people. <laughs> Plan submitted, ooh, we got four, burn the papers. <laughs> The three proposals made by respective leaders are now being reviewed by the Fuhrer himself, with the final decision being only his. Various state projects and performance of pro-German curious to the dream. Oh, yes. To revamp the German economy in a more traditional military way. Mm. For your pan is reform booster wealth and productivity. Okay, so they all give us basically a bunch of things here. But... We could just be all like, you know, guys, I don't like what you're what you're doing. I'm just gonna burn the papers or whatever, dude. <laughs> Hitler's distrust grows towards the others. I mean, it's probably best if we don't try that. I mean, I mean, we might try another game where we go just go act, <laughs> we just act crazy and just fucking start doing shit, dude. But I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, I think I like Goebbels' plan. Yeah, we'll go with the people's plan. Yes, the people. Oh shit! Atomic testing, dude. Although we do not have the full capability to produce atomic bombs, our science teams created a prototype. Members of the government urged the fear to allow a show of force. Oh shit! By nuclear test in Moscow. <laughs> oh yeah. So uh, that looks pretty scary over there, actually, dude. Look at all these Soviets just staying on the board. Yes. All right, Soviets, prepare and witness our nuke or whatever, dude. <laughs> Germany tests an atomic bomb. Oh shit, bro. T announced a test of its first ever atomic bomb and test was in the Arctic region of Moscow. Low wield. Germania now claims it has the capability to match the Iran Accords and two molecular nuclear capabil capabilities. However, military experts in the West suggest that the triumphant announcements are on a test of bluffs. Germany is, does not have full capabilities to reduce the atomic bomb. Industrial scale, unlike the United States, never lists a clear demonstration of a theoretical nuclear capability from Germany that is something that the West had long feared is now reality. Germany will march on. On the outskirts of Germania, while Karl Gebhardt was driving to make some formal report about the recent situations to Minister Martin Bormann, some unknown factors caused the death of Karl Gebhardt. His driver was dead by the time the police arrived, and Gebhardt's body showed signs of struggle before death. The cause of his death was five shots being into the stomach. 
all state ministries are now alert to ongoing possible conspiracy, and Albert Spear is ready to fear to hold out within the bunker. <laughs> the fuck? Alright, oh, man, we got, I mean, our stability's hella high, bro. And shit, bro, what? Man, shit, we bring it now, bro. Uh, explosion in Danzig. Dude, my fucking stability is going down so quick. <laughs> Okay, this explosion killed 291 people, bro. Holy shit. Crippo investigation. While well, after many of this was such odd timing, the criminal police has stepped in to take, stepped in and took charge of investigations related to these incidents. While progress is objectively slow, the chief investigator and Mark director Arthur Nebe promises that a clear conclusion would be made. Just as we run upon one behind such evil attacks. Okay. Oh shit! Assassination attempt, dude. Oh dude. The fuck, dude? My stability is going down so fast. <laughs> Suppress the news. Oh, shady dealings, dude. Who the fuck leaked shit, bro? <laughs> Queen and Norris reports by secret informant there have been numerous incidents and murder assassinations. Oh, shit, bro. Dude, who the fuck leaked this shit, bro? The U bond explosion. What the fuck? And Russia. The key information uh, is. Oh, ex oh I said ex explosion. <laughs> it's expansion. <laughs> Oh shit, his 63rd birthday is an, uh, okay, pretty cool. Hitler's reassertion. Bro, what the fuck is this shit? I gain 10, I lose 10. <laughs> Seeing the panic made within the German population, the Fuhrer has made a public appearance in an attempt to ease tension. Here states the events caused by evil acts of yes, the Bolshevik dude and the... My field being next target some unknown agenda motivated killing us. Uh, another terrorist attack. Polish conspiracy crushed. Oh shit! After a brief in-depth investigation by the SD, they have reached conclusion that the sector of the Polish Home Army within the Warsaw one behind the coordinated attacks with key clue. The majority of the attacks were conducted by Poles with the help of the SS and OPO. The rebel stronghold within Warsaw was destroyed, leading to execution of 59 Polish trade conspirators. Uh, yes, it's a glorious victory! Hooray! Oh my God, dude! Every time I pause, there's something coming up. The health of the fear. During a check, a report showed that fear's health is poor. Although doctors claim there are signs that fear is recovering from a stroke back in R48. There are a few pages of health reports missing by Marlon Boardman and the doctors assured the fear is nothing out of the norm. Huh? Okay. <laughs> the long coughings. Oh no, dude, he's, he's starting to die, bro. Alright, we better we gotta hurry up though, dude. This the fucking Hitler's already dying. <laughs> He's getting the coughs, bro. Uh, the border clashes with the Soviets have been dragging for ages, and it's finally Come the time to teach these Russian the German ways. Yes, and Germans in the fur lands <laughs> will no longer tolerate the Russian raids, and Germany must stand up for her people. It's time to strike. A more skirmish will make them reconsider their choice in the future. <laughs> what do we choose? <laughs> so, wait, we get this. Okay, so in the Wehrmacht, we get 50% chance of World War victory. Failure on the border. Oh boy, it's in the SS. 50 50 again. Oh my god, what, <laughs> what do we choose? It's in the Einsatzgruppen. Oh shit, 50 50. Uh, send the Wehrmacht. Uh. <laughs> I hope I chose the right decision, dude. The Ost Riffin ends. Okay, wait, the border clashes are still not done, though. Lufthansa, okay, okay, okay. The border clashes, dude. What's going on, man? <laughs> oh, shit, bro. <laughs> border war victory. Our Wehrmacht soldiers were able to win several border skirmishes against the Soviets, granting Germany a stronger border against the Bolsheviks. Hooray! Whoa, 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 what's going on? Another Polish plot closed. Ah! <laughs> oh no, his health is declining, dude. We have to hurry. Okay, wait, wait, wait. The, the, the wheel continue to turn for Germany to facade normality, which has been maintained by the government and the fewer. While some actions should be taken to prepare the inevitable tradition consistent with the to keep any news of the fewer's health an absolute secret. So I any information that may be dangerous. St stability of the state. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Stability. Okay, don't worry. Hitler is okay, he's not dying, dude. He's not uh, snorting cocaine in the back or whatever. <laughs> Turkestani Civil War, okay, that's, that's not interesting, but this is. Hitler's paranoia grew after the 1948 coup. He needs a way to monitor political situation in Germany, therefore, he now has two options to solve this issue. The Gestapo has offered their assistance. In this way, the Borman says that a special party attachment when it comes to such. Uh, we gotta choose the Gestapo or fucking the Borman from the attachment. I'm not sure if I trust Borman though. He seems a bit suspicious, dude. He's always trying to get into my shit, bro. <laughs> Every single decision I've been seeing so far, it's like he's always trying to wiggle his way in there. So I don't know. It's just do the Gestapo. Oh shit! 
The fears held to the clients. Their typical fears realized that enough of hours while none dared enter his room without summoning. They eventually alerted the rights first lady ever brown, and the first doors opened. The fear was passed out. Oh shit, bro! He soon recovered, kicking back on his feet. However, serves. I strongly advise him to seek treatment as soon as possible. However, this might embolden another being figures to launch another coup. Oh no, I am fine. The 1948 coup will not repeat itself. Last words from uh. <laughs> it's like famous last words. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Oh shit! Is the is it the revolution? Oh, I've been too late. We couldn't enact all the reforms. No. <laughs> we had only two more to go. Oh, we're about to see how this works. Great Assyria, dude. Oh, well, they're already encircled. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I am <I'm> not <laughs> We couldn't finish off in time. <laughs> uh, planning a funeral, organized and forgetting our old event. I remember the fear the German leaders of must plan a grand funeral for the world. See, this funeral must be an event the world remembered for a thousand years. Yes. The Kingdom of Sweden sends us a message. If you are inspiration, oh, 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 Sweden. Yeah. <laughs> Italy too, bro. Mussolini. Oh. <laughs> no, the spaghetti man. <laughs> Born with Summers the Senate. Okay, yes. We're just to cover the death of Hitler. Uh, officials made an order. They made a course of action to bring Germany back on track to some disaster. Stamina sent this. Ah, oh, Martin Bormann doing shit again, bro. <laughs> He's trying to take everything for himself. <laughs> oh, no, dude. China. Ah, yes. Thank you, China. Chinese bros are always with us, dude. Terror attacks! Oh no, terrorists, dude! Borman, oh, Borman! Yeah, I knew it, dude. This guy was playing shit from the beginning. <laughs> oh no, dude. He's addressing the Senate during this meeting, talking about alarming, harming elements that are hidden within the Senate, jeopardizing Germany's unity. Obviously, the speeches were directed at Spirit and Goebbels for actions. Oh shit, bro. Oh, uh, oh. Facing the seeming unstoppable power of the Spirit Goebbels block. Armed bombings as approached rights for SS Heinrich Himmler, which is an official staff will take more active role in Senate matters. A move that could allow Bormann to secure power. Oh, I knew it, dude! And keep him in line, keep the Senate officials in line. In exchange, Bormann also promised Himmler a prominent role in German politics and high position within the future Bormann government. Oh, no! Him refuses to offer, offer, but SS keeps watch. Yes. With our volume message massive scale, the authorities of the Russ Commissary in Moscow were not able to defend themselves from the natives. After a decade of German occupation, Western Russia is on back in Slavic hands, but the end of the Russ Commissary will not be the end of the chaos within the Moscow Free region. With the two fa fashions great odds with each other, the White Art Movement and Communists will now turn against each other. After the departure of the German tyrants from their motherland, while the locals have achieved the goal of becoming free, the, bi the biggest beneficiary from Moscow means downfall of the Soviet Union within time and possibility. Of Soviet conquering these lost lands goes stronger towards the step of Soviet unification. Oh no, dude. They're gonna come back. All of our shit in the east was for nothing. The spear goals block storms out. Does that mean after Bormann's dealings with him were resulting in Shustafa holding greater influence in politics? However, these words have been leaked and side officials are now aware of the underhanded negotiations. While most efforts held out, the presence of such a large group of unarmed, armed SS officers in the Senate Hall confirmed the theory. Amber says Spear Global's block debated aggressively, saying that Borman's decisions were illegal and were not approved by the majority of the Senate. During the seated debates, Borman continued continue to deny any uh, any accusation time and time again, really shutting down retaliated discussions. Frustrated by such behavior, Joseph Global's Amber Spear stormed out of the hall. While they were first at the SS guards, Martin Borman issued an order let them pass. Many Senate members followed Spear and Global's and left the Senate half empty at the end of the day session. A. Yeah, I think we got the people on our side though, dude. <laughs> we gotta get rid of Borman though, dude. Someone, t someone like, uh, <laughs> someone do the fucking good old maneuver of uh, two shots to the back of the head and rule it as, uh, as a suicide. You know, I guess that would work. <laughs> God, this looks like AIDS down here. But what is this? Borman's secret dealings before and behind the sentence back. This content contentment is now growing within the chamber. More have joined the Spear Goals faction. Ah, yes! And are now for challenging Borman. Borman. Borman can do whatever he needs to do. Borman shall obey. Borman, you must obey. Oh, well. <laughs> with Borman accepting their demands, some of the Senate officials are now calling for a vote of no confidence, demanding a replacement to serve as the Ukrainian national leader. As the election was supposed to come, but Borman didn't expect it to go this way. Borman believes in himself he will win the vote. This is, that's it. Oh. That's it. Abolish the Senate. <laughs> Borman believes himself. He will win the vote. What happens if I do this? 
the Borman coup. Oh shit. Overnight, Martin Borman occurred and entered the Senate. However, this move might give give the opposition factions a great opportunity to move to expose him and other factions' influence grows too great for Borman to control. Hammer might use the Borman's forced abolition of the Senate to justify a launch of counter coup. <laughs> Goring shall lead the people. Spear and Goebbels oust Borman. And SS gently ask Borman to stand down. Uh, uh Alright, yes, yeah, Spear and Goebbels oust Borman. Uh, it's dominates with Borman out of the picture. Admiral Spear and finally set to become leaders of Germany with the proper support and majority said This faction seems to be like the successor. Who should be the central leader of this faction? Uh, oh wow, look at fucking Albert Spear. Political power gain minus 30, stability minus 15. Now we have, we have Joseph Goebbels, obvious choice. After a period of power struggle in Germania, the Spear Goebbels faction is now successfully secured leadership despite its victory. The new leaders of Germany shall make first steps to solidify control and to prevent another political collapse similar to the one after Hitler's death. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So now we have, uh, yes, Joseph Goebbels. Holy shit, you got a long ass paragraph on you, dude. <laughs> hey man, he looks so serious, though, man. Come on, man. You need to smile a little bit. <laughs> the German Civil War. Ah, I gotta prevent it. What does this say here? Despite our best efforts to stabilize the nation, the divide between the faction is going to severe. Increased preparation from all sides. They have finally taken up arms and against each other. Uh. <laughs> and, 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 there's no going back. It's free for center, but from bullets and bullet German people. Ah! German stands for yes! Okay, how should we do this? <laughs> okay, wait, this is this is a, uh, gonna require some fucking major planning, dude. Holy shit. Because we are in the middle of all this shit. So this could end up turning out to be pretty bad. <laughs> we gotta do our best to like contain this shit, dude. In all honesty. Alright. I think that's the best I can do. Now, if we unpause. Oh boy, German Civil War. <clears throat> Death of Hitler and the failed power struggles have led to a total collapse. <laughs> the Burger Creek starts. General General German declaration attempting to avoid and fighting and secure the stability of the Polish territory that occurred in Charlie in German Civil War. Performing supposedly and promised to wipe up any sense of unrest in Polish regions. Hans Frank has not stated which faction Germany wishes to fight for, but for the general government is a neutral sector within the Civil War. Okay, we'll deal with them later. Alright. Oh no, hurry, get in position. Yeah, deal with this pocket here, please. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh shit, we actually might get encircled here. Uh, <laughs> that's not exactly good, you know. Alright, let's try to deal with the situation over here in the east really quick. Shit, how are, how are we gonna do this? I think it's best if we, like, pour troops back to more defendable positions. This might get them encircled, though, and that, that wouldn't exactly be good. Ah, I'm losing the Civil War. Damn it, bro. Uh, yeah, we're gonna lose a lot of troops down here, though. Because I'm trying to make this get... Because I knew for a fact we're gonna, we're gonna, get, we're gonna get fucking uh, encircled up here. Are we getting encircled? Because that is a big-ass... Yeah, he did get encircled. Um, Southern Uprising. Oh, shit. I thought you had this under control, bro! Alright, there's cycle charging up here, which is good. I mean, we were able to get most of our troops out of there. We have to make a decision here. We have to. We're, we have to attack. We have to attack to push him back, dude. Oh my God, bro! Hey, we just lost a big ass group over there. What the fuck is this? Ah, more terrorist attacks, dude. <laughs> uh, but we're trying our best to hold on to shit. Oh wait, we got a encirclement here. Got these entire group over here encircled, but uh, these guys over here are pushing in quite deep, which isn't good. Don't worry, boys, things are coming in. <laughs> ah, more terrorist attacks, dude. Uh, this is stop. Okay, we've isolated this group over here pretty well. If we can get rid of this group, we can focus more over here, which is good. Holy shit, these guys down here are still holding out. 
Oh, dang, they're about to get wiped out, though. Deconstruction. Wait, destruction of self. Oh, shit, bro. It's the only choice. Don't nuke ourselves. <laughs> Most part, we got the situation up here under control. Now it's just about finishing them off and shit. Dude. The Prague uprising. Ah, praise me. Pushing them south down here. We're doing really great on this front. The Belgian Revolution. Oh! <laughs> well, what we're doing? I thought we were, I thought we was gonna fucking die, but apparently not. So we're doing all right. The German army is just collapsing against our troops over here, which is great. Ah! Yes. <laughs> Hitler is dead. Oh, they're in circle. Alright, they're in circle. That's great. Okay, okay, that's great. So the German army over here is basically collapsing. Oh, renewed attacks by the SS. Oh no. Alright, the Civil War is going pretty well for us right now. Alright. Franz Halder here is about to be wiped out. We're at Salzburg right now, dude. Holy crap, bro. Oh, this, this group over here is about to get circled, too. I think with this group down here, the army group south, we can try to maybe do a southern thrust towards here, like keep them distracted up here and then do a southern thrust towards this region over here. Ah, okay. So that's the uh, army dealt with. Now it's time for the final battle. Us versus the SS. It's time, let's go! <laughs> attack on all fronts. Dang, Nicholas von Falcon host, dude, he's doing a great job. Holy shit, we're melting through your revisions down here. Hell yeah, brother. We're about to win the Civil War. Everyone attack! <laughs> Holy shit, dude. The SS is falling apart. We're actually doing, making great gains here. Anti 
anti-war movements. What the fuck? We're so close to total victory. <laughs> oh, with the government. Oh my god. With the government seemingly growing weaker day by day, I'm able to control the anti and anti-Nazi. Oh shit, bro. Uh, German United Front. No, bro. We're so close to total victory, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, you're joking. Oh my god. Motherfucker. Uh... Alright, bro. You think you can hold off for me? Alright. I'll take that as a yes. Um, please do go deal with this shit, dude. It's like, motherfucker. It's like we're so close to the total victory and shit, bro. <laughs> and next thing you know, fucking there is starting another revolution, bro. Alright. I think... I mean, it should fall pretty soon here, and then we can focus over there, I hope. Hi, command! What the fuck? Surprisingly, the fate of people of Seminary Germans, General Johann von Kielsmanzig, Ulrich, and Erich. Oh my god. Come on, man. Third affection! Dude, we're so close to defeating the SS! And they're pulling the shit. Alright, you need to fucking hurry, dude. <laughs> Alright, so we've encircled the SS up here, which is really great. Uh, I don't know why you're not working out that group right there, dude. Alright, we're about to reach Germania again. Oh my god. This end them. Oh! Alright. That was fucking close. <laughs> but we've retaken that, which is great, dude. dude I think we're, yeah, we're definitely going to win at this point. Now we can deal with all the people who thought we could break away from us. <laughs> <laughs> no, ah yes, human waves. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Okay, this is probably a death blow right here. All right, guys, the all out push. Oh, thank God. Ah. <laughs> Germany is saved. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Man, what are we even doing now, dude? <laughs> I mean, we, we were able to successfully take over most sh shit here. We won the Civil War, dude. But now we can't do the victory in the Civil War. And shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, y'all activate like a certain tree and. Oh. <laughs> Because, yeah, the German Civil War is still going on, but I beat them and shit. But now it's like, huh. <laughs> I can't do much. I mean, I'm not sure how I can exactly naval invade. Yeah, and I can't... Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I mean... Jeez. Yeah, I can't even declare war on people either. Because I have to fight this huge-ass war with the fucking... With the Brits here, dude. And my... Oh, yeah, I don't even have a navy, bro. This is gonna take a sh fucking long-ass time to get shit done. <laughs> we ain't going nowhere trying to fight the United States. <laughs> when we fucking uh, can't build any factories at all, dude. I mean, I mean, we're repairing shit. I don't know. If, are, are we repairing shit? No, we can't even repair shit. <laughs> uh, we can't repair shit either, dude. The fuck? 
negative, holy shit, negative 70%. Yeah, okay, we can't even make factories. So I can't even make, like, an actual good army to go fight. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, bro, look at this shit down here. Yeah, I can't even fucking build any factories because the Civil War... The game thinks the Civil War is still going on, but it's already over. I won. I won it, surprisingly. <laughs> But I don't know how what else I could do. Dude, I can't build factories and make like, you know, guns, fucking boats or whatever, dude. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think this game's already done. We I, I, I can already foretell our future, dude. The US is definitely gonna kick our ass because of our we can't build shit, dude. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we can't we're not even building anything, I don't think. Are you even building anything? No, oh, okay, I guess yeah, I guess I'm fucking done. <laughs> I'll consider this a win on my part, you know, because A, I fucking, I won the Civil War. That was a hard-ass fucking thing to do. <laughs> and B, uh, I don't know what else comes after that, but I was fucking into here, dude, or <laughs> whatever. What's going on with Greece? Oh yeah, that's right, during the Civil War, but anyway. Enough said. I'm gonna end it here, dude. Fucking this shit's already getting too cancerous for me, dude. <laughs> I can't fight back against the allies, dude. I have nothing. I have zero fuel. I can't build shit. Yep, I'm done. I'm done, bro. I'm fucking done. <laughs> uh...